let's see how easy it is to use macros in Woodpecker. In Woodpecker, macro is simply a reference to a field from within another field. In our sample document here, designation of patient advocate, we have some basic fields and then we have some optional text that will be inserted based on the answer to the question, are the alternates to act jointly? So let's go ahead in and edit that conditional field. Go ahead and edit. If the alternates are not to act jointly, then we're going to insert this text. This text is asking for the name of the patient advocate one. That is already a field in our document, so we can turn that placeholder text into a macro that will bring in the value of that field. To do so, just highlight the placeholder text. Click on the little gray box in the right-hand corner. That's going to bring up a list of your clauses and the fields in the current document in which you're working. Go ahead and select that field. So the placeholder text is now surrounded with single curly braces, which denotes this is now a macro. Let's go ahead and do it for the second piece of text as well. So if the alternates are to act jointly, this will be inserted, and we're going to turn that name of patient advocate one again into a macro. Click on the gray box. Scroll through your clauses, find your field. Again, we have the single curly braces. We'll go ahead and save. Let's go ahead and quickly populate this document so you can see how this works. And we'll start with um, alternates to act jointly. The answer will be no, and go ahead and populate. You can see the text that will be um, populated in the document with a macro that's going to pull in the value of the name of patient advocate one. And here we are here, so when the text gets pulled in, the macro is replaced with my name. We change that to yes, and go ahead and populate, and we're going to see the same behavior. The text is going to change, and the macro is going to be replaced with the value in the name of the field.